Hey, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday I wrote an email, took me about 20 minutes, sent it out to my list and put it in my Facebook group and it generated over $1,000 in sales. So I've sent thousands of original emails at this point. And in this video, I want to show you how you can take these ordinary stories that happen in your everyday life and turn them into these emails that pull in three, four, even five figures or more in sales, whether it's for your own business or if you're writing for a client's business. So what I wanna do in this video is just show you what that email was, I'll read through it for you. I'm gonna show you how I came up with the idea. It's a lot easier than you think and how to do this for yourself and how to come up with an endless stream of new ideas and new hooks and angles for your own emails. This is a strategy and a process that you can repeat every single day and profit from every single day. Again, whether it's for yourself or for a client's business. So stick around to the end. You're gonna see what this strategy is and how to start using it right away as soon as today. Now, before we jump in, you know the drill. If you're enjoying the content, hit the like and subscribe button. Doing that helps me out. Also helps to show it to other people who can benefit from this content as well. And with that said, let's jump into my computer. I'm gonna show you what this 1K email was and how to start writing these emails for yourself or for your client's business. All right, so today is December 17th. This is a Friday. And this is from yesterday on the screen here, December 16th. And you can see here, uh, five orders for a net revenue of $1,116 at an average order value of $186. And it was sold through just sending out one email. So what was that email? I'm gonna open it up here and I'll just read it for you. Let's do a little story time, okay? So this is the subject line you can see here. He got my back and it all went downhill from there. So there's a bit of curiosity built into that. Nothing about copywriting or business or anything. Um, and you'll, you'll understand what this is about as I read through it. So here we go. Yesterday, I was in the middle of a grueling Brazilian Jiu Jitsu training session. Coach made us roll, AKA respectfully kill each other for a little over an hour, which is double the usual time. There was a dude there who I hadn't seen before, about 6'1", 200 pounds if I had to guess, that kept staring at me. Not like he wanted to kill me, but like he had something to say. On the last round, he taps me on the shoulder and asks if I want to roll. Uh, sure, I say, already dead and out of breath. And keep in mind, I'm not a big guy. I'm 5'9", 160 pounds, so he's got at least 30 to 40 pounds on me. We shake hands and get after it. Five minutes on the clock to survive. One minute goes by, we're just hand fighting. He grabs my gi, I rip his grip off. I go for his and he bats my hand away like a fly. Two minutes in and he's got me to the ground, working to pass my closed guard, smashing my legs down with his hands and knees. Three to four minutes in, we're going back and forth working for a better position. I sweep him into full mount. He sweeps me back. This dude is strong as an ox, so there ain't much I can do. In the last minute, he gets my back and out of nowhere, whispers in my ear, big fan of your YouTube channel, bro. You're smaller than I thought. Uh, this is a true story, by the way. This happened on Wednesday. Uh, so I said, wow, bro. How am I supposed to feel after that? Complimented, honored, embarrassed, insulted, small. Uh, I have some emojis here to show how I was feeling. We shook hands, laughed it off, and had a quick chat after. He was in town visiting a friend and tagged along to training. Found my channel through one of my old YouTube ads and has been watching since summer. He also bought my super fast sales email challenge. Look at this, right? This is my offer. Last month and started practicing writing his own original emails to help him with the strength training community he wants to start next year. You just never know when you're gonna run into a customer or fan. Sometimes it's when they got your back about to strangle you, telling you how much smaller you are than they expected. Anyway, thought it was a funny story worth turning into an email. If you wanna start turning your daily stories into emails that sell too, pick up the super fast sales email challenge here. And I'll link to it. And my typical sign off, your compadre, Sean, smaller than expected, Anthony. So this is the email. This is the one that pulled in $1,116 in sales. I also posted this in my Facebook group like I often do. So you can see here, this is the exact same thing. I repurposed the email into my Facebook group. And I used a picture of Chuck Liddell here, who's a UFC fighter, ex-UFC fighter, and Steve-O. And not a ton of engagement, but this did very well on sales. Uh, so what's happening here? Well, this is just a typical story email. And this is a true story, like I mentioned. This is something that happened in my daily life. I like to, one of my hobbies is training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and boxing and Muay Thai. So I was just talking about something that happened in my daily life. Now this is a funnier than usual story, but this is just an ordinary thing that happened, right? Most people go about their daily life and small things happen like this all the time, whether it's something funny or whether it's something that startled them or scared them or surprised them. All these little happenings in your daily life can be turned into stories like this and emails that sell like this. So the way I got this idea was just being observant in my daily life and noting down things that were funny or surprising or things that happened that caught my attention. And the cool thing is it doesn't need to be an amazing story either. I've written stories about going to a butcher shop and going to the grocery store. I've written stories about just going to dinner with Jackie, right? Something that seems completely ordinary. I've written stories about my little cousin when he was saying something that was pretty funny. 
I've written stories about things that I watch on Netflix or HBO or Amazon Prime, TV shows and movies. So all these little things that happen in your daily life or these insights and things that pop into your head as you're living your life, these can all be turned into stories that sell and emails that sell. So if you wanna come up with an endless stream of your own email ideas and your own stories, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take out your phone, whether it's Android or iPhone, doesn't matter. Go to your app store and download the free notes app. There should be some kind of free notes app. It doesn't really matter what it is, just download it to your phone. And then what I want you to do is every day, get into the habit of writing down at least one thing, one story or something that happened to you in your daily life that you can potentially turn into a story. And remember, it doesn't need to be crazy or extravagant or anything. It just has to be a story that you can use. And it could be a completely ordinary story or something that just made you laugh. And as you get into this habit of writing down just one thing, one potential story that you can write about every day, you're eventually gonna have this long list of stories that you can write about every day. And this is exactly what I do. I have a notepad on my phone and I have about over 2000 potential stories I can use in there. Sometimes I go crazy and add like 10 things that happened in a day to that notepad. So I never run out of things to talk about in my emails and in my content. So that's what I want you to do. I promise it's gonna have a huge effect on you if you're struggling to come up with ideas for things to write about in your emails or different angles or different stories to talk about. Take out your phone, download the notes app and every day, one thing, write one story into that notepad and you're gonna have an endless list of email ideas and content ideas for yourself. So I hope that was useful and gave you some ideas on how you can come up with these different stories and emails that can bring in three, four, even five figures or more in sales in just a single email. I know it sounds stupid simple, but if you go out and start doing this, I promise you, you're gonna have these emails, whether it's for your list or a client's list that bring in these big sales days. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and let me know in the comments, what is your next story email gonna be about? I'd love to give you some commentary on what I think and how I would spin it. Also, if you're more so interested in learning the structure and the formula of a sales email and how to write these stories and turn them into emails, grab my super fast sales email challenge and you can do that by going to superfastsalesemail.com. I'll also link to it below so you can easily click on that and grab that if you want to. The super fast sales email challenge, if you don't know what it is, in seven days it teaches you to write your very first email that sells and have it ready to send out even if you've never written an email before. So again, superfastsalesemail.com, that's gonna take you to the product, it's 49 bucks, and you can check out directly on that page. And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.